Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 10th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the Bootstrap type styles it provides us with. Then guys, so in the HTML, we've just got some basic kind of elements here. We've got a div with that fluid container class. Then we've got a row right here, just one row. And then inside the row, we've got six div elements, each with this class called XS6. So from extra small screens all the way up, we're giving it six columns in width. That's half the grid. Then within those, we've got a H1, then a H2, H3, all the way down to H6. And then just a couple of paragraph tags as well. So let's take a look at this in a browser. And you can see right here, that uh, Bootstrap is making the heading smaller as they go down to H6. And you can see that by going over the elements and just having a look at the styles right here. So you see H1 is 36 pixels and uh, that's in this file right here. If you hover over that, you can see it's from the Bootstrap CDN. Okay, so that's what Bootstrap is providing us with. And uh, over the H2, it's 30 pixels. Uh, H4, we could go through each one of these if you like, but probably not worth your time. Uh, 18 pixels. All right, so they're the sizes that Bootstrap is providing us with. Now, it also provides us with a default font family, and that is Helvetica New. So if we go down here, you can see in the body rule right there, we've got font family, Helvetica New. If that's not available, just Helvetica, then Arial, then any old sans serif font. Okay, so Bootstrap is also providing that through this file right here. Again, if you hover over, you can see it's in the Bootstrap CDN file. So if we want to override those, we just have to do it in our own CSS. That's cool. Um, and you can see that body rule has it there, but if we go over the H4 or the H1 or whatever H tag we want, you can see in that, you can see that the font family is inherit. So all we have to do is change the body font family and the H1 through to H6 is going to inherit that as well. Okay. So as well as the headers automatically getting these styles, we can also apply classes to things. So if we jump back to the HTML, say for example, I want a word to have the same style as a h1, right? I could just say span class equals h1. And they give us those utility classes, if you like. So if I just put that around this word right here and click save, this now should give me the same styles as a h1 should. Okay, so let's take a look at that in the browser. Let's refresh. And you can see now this has the same style as that. And that is true all the way up to h6. So if I put h in fact, H4, for example, let's have a look at that and uh, refresh. Now this gets the H4 styles, which is here. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than the normal text. All right, so you can do that all the way through to uh, H6. Also, it gives us uh, some other classes and whatnot. So something else I can show you is the lead class. I'll come down to the second div right here. And I'm going to give this P class of lead. All right. And then that's going to end at the end of the P tag right there. I'll save it and check this out in a browser. Now you can see that this text right here is a bit bigger. And this would normally be the first kind of paragraph or little kind of snippet in an article. You know where you get that rough uh, overview of what the article is going to be about? That's what this is for, generally, that kind of thing. All right, so that's pretty cool. We can apply that class to some tags. Um, anyway, so basically what I'm trying to say you guys is that Bootstrap comes with some kind of styling for text and it overrides that default browser style behavior that you get if you didn't have Bootstrap. So you just need to be aware of that if you are um, gonna you know, style your own text. So you have to override these elements or rules that Bootstrap provides us with, okay? So that's it, just a quick lesson on these classes and uh, styles that it provides us with. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.